Yes, they are. Here is this back to a... What's in my purse? I haven't done this for... I think the last one I did was in June, because I tend to do them every six months. So I can show like what I'm carrying for winter, or what I'm carrying for summer, kind of thing. So, I have a new bag. I need to find a tag for it. I think it's in this one. What are you in here? Just you over. Okay. So this is the brand of the bag. I kept the tag. So this is what it looks like. I kept the tag too, because there's no way I was going to remember that. So, back. this is my current one, by the way. And the bag itself is kind of mahoosive, but it looks like this. It's got a cat face. It's got a cat face. And I got a little machine ball right here. Hanging from it as well. And there's like really no organization to it. This is like one that if you want to just like throw a bunch of stuff in it and go, you're good. <laughs> so I might use this as like a mini double when I go to John's for a Valentine's Day. Okay. So I'm just going to pull at random. The first thing are headphones. A shot that these are the first ones that pull out. If you guys know me in person, sorry, my phone went into sleep mode and I'm currently uploading something on my phone. I was in the processing phase. Okay. Anyway. I am constantly listening to music, so it doesn't really surprise me that these were the first things I pulled out. And for those wondering, these are by Sony. I'm not sure of the exact models of it or anything. I just know that I found them at Walmart and they're in white and black. And I really want the pink ones because there are pink ones, but the only place I found them is eBay. And I'm just like, don't know if I trust eBay that well. But, um, next thing is a brush that I keep in my purse because my hair gets freaking, like, crazy. But this is the brush that I have. It's an Eevee! How cute! He is so adorable. Yeah, just a brush on the back. So. He's just so cute. Yeah, I love that it's small enough that it can actually go in my purse as well. Because most people would see this and be like, this thing is a massive thing for a hairbrush, but I absolutely love it. I found it at Hot Topic. And it is by Loungefly. Next thing is a hand cream. And it is a vanilla hand cream. It is like the... It's another one of the one that I used to have. The unicorn. Because I finished off the other one. But this one I found at Dollar Tree. And I think the first one I found was at Rue 21. And it was like $4. But I found this one at Dollar Tree. That was really cute. Next is my wallet. It's a Juicy Couture wallet. I tried to be bougie. I found it at TJ Maxx. And I have been wanting one for a while. But yeah, I'm not going to be one of those people that flashes like designer stuff left and, ra left and right and act all bougie. I'm like, those people I feel like I'm going to smack in the face sometimes. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But yeah, just the standard accordion, so. Back. 
there. Then I have this little pouch, which is this little bag I actually found at the flea market for a dollar. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's got Eiffel Towers all over it. I have a baby lips in quenched. Is my uncle is here if you can hear him whistling. But I like the this one because it's got the sunscreen built in. So got one of those. I have a purse hook. I can get it. Looks like this. And it just hits flat. It's the table, so I got a purse hook. I have a sucker in case of a low. It's a Jolly Rancher pink lemonade. I have my great grandmother's mirror. This used to be a powder, and this used to be a lipstick. It was like a combo. But that used to be hers. I have a couple hair ties, and I have a thing of medication in case I need it. I have a Garnier Facial Mist, which I really love this stuff. Not want to get it on my mouth though. I got it on my mouth this time. Okay, but yeah, I. Swear by this stuff, I have a backup. So. Then I have this that I am freaking obsessed with, and I'm so glad that I got a second one. It is the Bath and Body Works Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds by Fragrance Mist. I am obsessed with this stuff. It smells like straight cotton candy, and normally I hate that. But something is mixed with it where it just smells freaking fantastic. I don't know if it's the magnolia or the whipped vanilla or what, but this stuff is really good. I have the long strap to the person here. Just so I can keep it in case I want to wear it the long way. And then, last thing I have are my keys on this lanyard that John got me. He, when he was in London for his family reunion trip on his dad's side, he took, I don't know if it was a subway or, it might have been a subway, but it was called the London Pass. So he got this lanyard. And actually gave it to me. So I keep my keys on it. So I've got house keys. Little Marie. She's a little dirty. I'll have to clean her up. This Marie. This, which you slide your fingers through. And it's a brass knuckle. Good when you're in five points in Atlanta. I got a picture of John from when he were at prom. Got a grandma and papa's house key and my room key. Bunch of store cards and then this little macaroon keychain. And then the front part of the purse where the cat's face actually unzips and opens. So I have two blue ink pens, a stylus, post office keys, which I needed to put on this thing. Just do that right now. And two notepads. I have this one that I've had for Lord knows how long. 
I got it from the Hobby Lobby one of the first times that I went. But it's just a little notepad. And then this one John gave me, it's one that he took with him to do notes, I guess. But it's almost like one of those little tiny moleskin ones. I know it's not, but that's what it reminds me of. And that is everything in my bag, guys. I know I kind of rushed this, and I apologize, but my grandmother is at a doctor's appointment, and I have to look after Papa by myself. But I wanted to go ahead and get this up for you guys. And with all that being said, I will talk to you soon in another video and another time. Bye, Roses. And yeah.